Today's uh, plea deal identifies multiple unnamed Trump transition team officials who were involved in communicating with Michael Flynn about contacts he should be having with the Russian ambassador to the United States. We have since learned the identities of two of those people. One is Jared Kushner, who is President Donald Trump's uh, uh, son-in-law, and the other is Katie McFarland, who uh, was the Deputy National Security Advisor. So it certainly brings the investigation to the White House. Uh, it brings it into the inner circle. One thing that's really interesting is the White House officials have maintained for months that Michael Flynn had misled them about the nature of his contacts with Sergei Kislyak, and he had told them that he did not discuss sanctions during his calls. But in reality, according to the plea agreement that we uh, received today, it is clear that multiple members of Trump's transition team, including senior officials, were very much aware of the nature of the contacts he was having, and in fact, in some instances, were correcting uh, how those calls should go. Basically, it raises serious questions about the accuracy of White House assertions that they did not know what Flynn and Kislyak had discussed.